So in today's video, I managed to get my hands on a full bag of PXG Gen 6. I've got the Gen 6 0311 P irons in the bag, along with the driver 0311 Gen 6 10.5. I've also got a five wood in there. A seven wood 21 degrees is also in the bag. And then making up the bottom end is a five hybrid at 25 degrees, a four hybrid at 22, and then jumping up the other end, I've got two sugar daddy wedges, a 54 and a 58. We've also thrown in a one and done mallet style putter. And of course, we're gonna use the new PXG ball. It's nine holes on the Cheshire course at Carden Park. It's very much winter conditions. This was filmed four or five weeks ago. And uh, you can see by the woolly hat, it's a little bit chilly still and conditions are as expected. So driver off the first, it's that little soft fade that I like to hit, very much almost a three quarter swing to get me off of that first tee and things underway. Now I've got eight iron in hand, I've got 150, and again, not the greatest of swings. You can see very much um, still part of the first swings of the day and didn't finish too good to be honest with you. In fact, it left a uh, an awkward one to say the least. I chose to play the 54 wedge out of those two. I just wanted to sort of clear the landing area but played it a little bit too flat which meant it had kicked on a little bit further than I'd hoped, but it was it was okay because the chip shot technique was a little bit stabby. So one other thing to mention early on in this video is the greens had just been holotined a few days before, and yes, you guessed it, I'm making excuses already for perhaps what is about to come. That's what us golfers do, don't we? Anyway, I've got the one and done putter. My mess is out the bag while I test these and um, no excuses. It went in. We start off with a par and yet again, I make an up and down save. Although my face thinks otherwise. Right, onto the second, which is another par four. And I say second, it's the fifth hole at uh, Carden Park on the Cheshire. Very much putting these together as a bit of a hybrid so I don't get in people's way. 408, off the tee, you can see a much better turn and there was a big effort to do that after the uh, not so good first tee shot of the day. And uh, I think that's half a smile you can see. Uh, what I left in was not too dissimilar from the first shot to be honest with you, around 150, um, but uphill into a breeze and gone down to a seven iron. The idea is the flag is tucked away in that left hand side bunker right behind it and you've got a lot of green to the right so I'm trying to get into the sort of front I mean that's the line and my idea is always the same that if I don't quite get all of the ball which I didn't on that occasion I should end up okay and uh, rather quick chip shot there but uh, we've managed to knock one up to not a bad distance similar to the first again so don't forget this is for par and um, yeah, not the best of efforts. It probably started off on the right line, but you can see that um, it certainly needed hitting. So that's one over par. I've not really hit a good shot as yet, apart from one single good putt. Um, however, the drive on the last was good and the drive on this was as well. Really solid, got through the ball well. Happy with where that has ended up. And uh, yeah, we've now got five wood and this is fairly narrow um, down this second shot on this par five. And to be honest with you, it's just a case of getting it down there somewhere. And what you'll see now is that um, you don't want to be too far up because the closer you get to that tree that is effectively right in the middle of the fairway, obviously the more awkward things become. There's a lot of effort going into sort of having a look what's wrong with my swing right now and trying to work things out. This is an eight iron again. This time sort of full swing looking to get over the tree and that is left of target. But what I will say is much happier with that kind of uh, turn through the ball, even though I've overdone it a little. And uh, well, I did ask Hannah to leave this in because I often get questioned, do I replace my divots? And obviously the answer is yes. I just don't always film that process. So there you go. Keep a few happy. So again, not too dissimilar to a shot we had uh, a little while back on the first shot of the day. Um, 
just really looking to clear the bunker and get this thing running we've got a fair bit of green to work with not the most difficult chip shot in the world and executed it i think reasonably well it's difficult to get the pace of the greens no matter how you know we don't want to make excuses but ultimately you know it's it's very difficult to gauge the inconsistencies i suppose you would say between the sort of bounce and what's happening with um with the run once the ball lands so we've left ourselves what seems like exactly the same sort of length put again to save par and yeah it's just a, a weak effort in terms of the putt but quite a big break and that's uh, two over and all down to the sort of errant third shot really which was probably the easier out of the three that i played to get there but there you go right driver out probably the one club that's been apart from the first tee shot has been okay to be honest with you I like what this driver does. Um, I really like the shaft that's in it. And um, it fires the ball out a fair old way, to be honest with you. And happy with that. Got a, leaked it, as you can see from, I'm in the rough, so I leaked it out to the right, maybe 10 yards further than you wanna be. Um, debate on the club on this one. Obviously you've gotta go over the tree. I've got nine iron in hand. And sort of dug it out a little bit which probably took a little bit of club head speed off of it. Maybe should have gone up a uh, another club, I don't know, but that's hindsight and we sort of ended up, we grabbed the front bit of the green. Uh, I also repair pitch marks as well, which is, um, yeah, good to see. So it's a long old putt now, a long way from the hole and I don't know, from sort of, you know, what, what I was, which was 135, 138 out. This is something that I'm recognizing. I'm along, I'm too far from the hole, um, from that kind of situation. I was coming from the rough, but I suppose, you know, this is not a birdie opportunity at all. This is about trying to get a two put from here. And you can see from the length of backswing and follow through, that's a fair old hoof. And um, well, it's not a bad effort, but it's still got a, uh, a fair bit of work involved. So, Yet again, I'm having to make a real awkward one. This is probably six or seven foot. It's a push, and um, for all the moaning and groaning that I've no doubt verbally let out there, it wasn't the greatest of putts. Yes, it could have fell in and grabbed a piece, but it didn't. So another bogey, I'm afraid. Now this is horrendous right now because playing at uh, 227 yards par three at this time of year means this needs an absolute wallop, and that's a five wood, which I hit as good as I can. Best shot of the morning by far. And um, if I switch the audio up in terms of what I'm saying to the camera now, I thought that was really close because from I was right behind the hole, it looked like it was going really straight at it. And as ever, when you're 230 yards away, that can be deceiving because we're still quite a bit away from the hole. Depending on what you're watching on now, in terms of whether that's your phone or the, the TV screen, you'll see that holotined green which is definitely um, making life a little bit more difficult on the greens than you'd want it to be. Because pace is the big thing that I've got wrong on pretty much every port. Uh, from memory, I've not really put a ball past the hole as yet, um, which is not good. They're never going to go in. But it's a nice three on what is, um, well, that's a really tough par three to say the least. So it's a par. I'm not going to complain at that from that type of hole. I believe it or not, this is stroke one. It plays, uh, well, 473 yards. I don't think we were playing that far on the day, but it is only a par four. And obviously in the winter, where this ball lands, it isn't gonna go far. And to be honest with you, it's a really solid strike. The driver is the shining light right now in terms of my performance on the day. Really happy with that, but my face doesn't seem to know it. Um, I left that hybrid in still a long, long way. This was close to 200 in and uh, it's the four hybrid. These have got 10 side blue shaft in, uh, really performing really well. You can see the, the sort of my trousers there, how much wind is blowing. It's, it's, it's a difficult day, which you can never quite pick up without the full audio and uh, listening to the sort of breeze and what have you. Maybe see a bit in the flag there. Um, but yeah, really good, really good second shot in. This is, um, almost pin high at the angle we're filming that's a bit deceptive really um but yeah trust me that's that's pretty much pin high um taking this serious now getting leaves off the bottom of the shoe can i get a putt that actually threatens the hole that would be nice it's a good old hoof but 
The answer is no. Still can't manage to get the ball up there. And um, yeah, I, I mean, either way, I think it's at this time of year where you've really not got to judge your putting. You've got to take two things into consideration. One, the greens are holotined and two, the pace and everything else that goes with it. So I tend not to be too uh, disheartened by my putting in winter conditions. But anyway, we move on. It was another good par. So you want to be the tree on the right hand side. I like to go inside that line and that's just leaked out maybe a tad further than will be because it's not, well, it's a slight dog leg from right to left. We can't see the green from the tee. So you don't want to go too, too tight down the left. Otherwise you can be in trouble. Certainly when it's, um, well, certainly when there's a few more leaves on the trees and that tree line to the left of me is uh, got a bit more foliage on. Right, I left eight iron in. And uh, even though this was filmed four or five weeks ago, I can remember this was the best iron that I hit on the day. It was, uh, yeah, it was right at it. Um, and again, just a moment to Hannah behind the camera that it went uh, just a little bit long, if anything. Grabbed a piece on the back end. And uh, I'm not too sure what I'm looking. Maybe I'm asking for Hannah to help me read this one, but uh, either way, there's no one helping your hand. Get that put near the hole and threaten a birdie for God's sake. So this is actually downhill. So it's actually one of the quicker puts that we've hit on the day. I've still not managed to get there, which is really frustrating because as you can see, I had the line and that just needed a little bit more pace and we might have actually grabbed one. But as it stands, we make another par. So the run, in, run on pars is increasing. So yeah, got to be happy with that. Next up is a par five. I generally aim, again, I want to avoid the left-hand side in terms of the tree line. You'll see a bunker, which is um, the, my target line, really. I'm sort of aiming at the bunker, and hopefully you want to try and move this ball a little bit from right to left. And as you can see, and it's happened a few times with the driver, it tends to be that uh, I'm leaving it just a little bit leaked out to the right, and certainly no uh, movement to the left whatsoever on that occasion. Um, now I know it was safe, but maybe in a month or two's time, this will be a lot heavier and you don't really want to be here, but um, as it stands, I've got seven wood, which this is the first time I'd played the club on the day. Sort of perfect from this situation. You want to grab yourself another 180 yards, ideally, but you've also got to get over that tree. So yeah, the combination of that seven wood was just perfect. And this is where I go back to, do I want a five iron in my hand there or that seven wood? Well. I know which I'd rather hit. Right, I'm now describing to Hannah that there's a gap in the tree, um, sort of three quarters of the way up, and that is my target line with a little bit of left to right. That's the plan at least. Oh my word. It's just a pleasure to watch back, to be honest with you. I absolutely love that shot on the day. And um, I enjoy watching it back again today. However, I had to use a fairly lofted club, which meant we were never going to get there in terms of distance. This is an eight iron, a bit of a chip and run, hoping again that uh, we need to force it a little bit in terms of the softer greens. And it just meant it ran by a little. At this point, I've lost all faith in my own ability to read a port and constantly refer to Hannah behind the camera to try and give me some caddying information. And uh, I'm not sure, I'll blame her, she got it wrong. I'm now getting frustrated in terms of the uh, miss puts, but there you go, that's a bogey on the card. Um, right, next up and final hole in terms of the nine that we played. This one is just literally straight down, bunker on the left hand side, you can see, uh, you obviously you don't wanna go to that, but you've got a fair bit of room to the right of it. So my line is sort of start off on it, cut back a little. And if you think about the drive, ing full stop it's been pretty decent to be fair and that was no different it was right in the middle of the fairway with a good bit of distance on it as well and it's about as position a on this golf hole because it can be a bit of a fiddly one if, if you go a bit further right obviously you can be blocked out pond on the left hand side fairly narrow green i've only got a pitching wedge in hand and uh there's a bit of a anxious weight here because that is going towards the water you can see me a little bit of a lean and a little bit of a, well, I think a bit of relief really, because it just held on. 
And again, thank God it was a bit wet underfoot because in the summer months, that's basically in the reeds and in the pond. So chip and run up the green. Um, yeah, fairly happy with that, to be honest with you. It's uh, executed as intended. Uh, you could argue, like I said, maybe um, a little bit more required. But again, that's the debate I've had through the, out this whole video, really, is just trying to get good in and around the greens, whether that be the piece of the put or the chips into them. It's been really, really difficult. But um, we've got this to make a par, and there's, there's been a lot of kind of, I don't know my sort of greens in reg, but I don't think it's been fantastic and uh, this has meant that I've had a lot of singular puts to try and save par and we all know well that's not good you're never going to make score doing that but can we finish off as we started with a good put the answer is no it was a terrible effort and uh, we walk off with a, another bogey right that was me with a full bag of pxg gen 6 i've got to say to be fair to the clubs themselves the driver performed incredibly well um the hybrid fairway woods again really really impressed with what they did on the day and as you know with the irons i've been playing them for some time so nothing new there i think from the putter's perspective just something very different in your hand that i'm not used to and that's very hard to switch up and in between different putters and uh, the mez will be returning back to its rightful place very soon right as ever i hope you enjoyed them ones are a little bit different sort of a break from the norm uh let me know your thoughts on my performance don't be too brutal and i will see you all tomorrow night thanks for watching